let's go. Let's go check it out and see if any uh, bad stuff is on the fence line. Okay, let's go. I don't often do the uh, weekly walkabout to the deep part of the property, but uh, uh, what are you coming? Huh? You coming? Come on. Getting lazy in his 12 year old. Well, there he goes back into the shine shack. He don't want to do anything, but uh, coming out today, I thought I'd just walk. About once a week, I like to walk back, make sure no dope is uh, piled into my fence or anything back here. I mean, I've gonna put seven grand into new fencing on this so called rancho, Rancho de Rosie. So um, yeah, you know when I first uh, when I first got this place, there were basically a couple gar a couple cars buried right here, engine blocks, manifolds, doors, windows. I swear to God, it was two old DeSotos, like 1955 DeSotos or something, down here, and I had to have that shit all dug up and moved. Uh, that don't look too good, does it? Holy shit, that's a hell of a big hole there. I ain't gonna stick my... You dare me to stick my hand down there? Huh? <laughs> Y'all like to see me stick my hand. <laughs> that's either a hell of a big uh, rat hole or something, you know. Some big ass thing, so... Uh, you never know what you're gonna see out here. I guess I gotta get the big ass traps gone, but... Uh, this is a neighbor's place over here. He ain't much on the fence maintenance. You can see his chicken coop over yonder there. And his big big mixing yard is like he's got his 68 Pontiac GTO buried in that dirt pile there. So it's uh it's hard living, y'all guys. I tell you over here at the rancho. But apple trees, I don't see a lot of activity yet on the old apple trees oh, his trees in bloom next door I don't know what the hell that is uh, got some buds on the apples stuff this is my good one this is a nice Gravenstein apple this thing was all overgrown when I first got here there's the uh, neighbors where they all like to perv at the second floor window I call it the guard house here this is a fig tree that couldn't produce a fig if its life depended on it, right? <clears throat> what the hell is with that thing? And there's the fence line. I just want to check on my roses, make sure they're going to come up good. <clears throat> this year, it's really important to me. I would need to have this fence covered because uh, you all know I like to sun, well, you don't know, I like to get my sun topless, topless sunning out here. So it wasn't as, wasn't as warm today. The sun wasn't really out, but you can see all along the fence line there. I got the Lady Banks roses. Had to put the water lines in, and they all irrigate off of well water and shit. So, old Bobby comes here every weekend when we're distilling the hooch, and he hooks the uh, Lady Banks into the fence there, so they climb good. All the stray branches he hooks up. That, that is a big ass rose bush right there. Too big for me to tackle when I moved here, so I just decided to keep it. So, I am a little concerned about the whole. <laughs> There's a little part of me that wants to you know, check and see if there's any uh, gibsters down there or anything in the hole, but you know. That's the shit that uh, horror movies are <laughs> like. Alien, oh, aren't you cute? And you stick your hand down there and just like come out with that arm, right? So I'm gonna take a pass on that. I'll let the, the boss stick his arm down there. That's right up his alley. He's real macho and shit, so. Things looking pretty good out here, huh? Out here on the big spread. It's kind of weird to have a huge piece of land and middle of all this uh, tremendous urban blight <laughs> out of here oh I thought I stepped in a big pile of dog shit it was just a big clump of 
grass. I weren't used to stepping on grass with all the weeds around here. <laughs> yeah, I just can't resist. You know, I got to go back over to the hole again because uh, I ain't got no sense, right? And uh, where in the hell did that thing go? If I step in, oh, there it is. Yeah, let's put the old light on here. Let's see what we got there. We got that light on, yeah. You guys see any choochers down that hole? Be careful now. Stick that bow down there. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That shit's a little above my pay grade, right? <laughs> I don't generally advise that in the middle of the country. Remember I told you a long time ago, months ago, when I remember early uploads, I told you about these weird alien skeletons that I pulled out of the ground here and sent the pictures to my friends. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? It looked like I, 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 those things out of alien. <laughs> it fucks with the bad teeth. You think I got bad teeth, right? So It's looking good. Let's just peek over to the... Uh, fruit tree the orchard here in the back of the shine shack and you can see the Santa Rosa plum is still in full bloom and we got the elephant heart plum right behind it the desert gold peach that looks like the cherry trees are starting to come good here I don't even know what varieties I got of that right and finally starting to push out a little bit of growth on the citrus trees as you can see there so yeah citrus are pretty tough kind of like rose you got to make sure there's no more holes back here but uh, <clears throat> really y'all got some dynamite you can send me out I really want to send something down that hole right I don't want to put a trap there because you know then I got to come out the next day and I got to see the the jibster running around the trap and I don't want to see that shit at all, right? Wolfie, why don't you go get that damn thing, huh? This dog isn't worth the shit, right? Just sleep and eat and crap all over the place, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, huh? Anyway, that's the weekly walkabout, so tomorrow I gotta get prepped for Getting another roll of, uh, another run of shine done. What the hell are you all excited about, huh? What do you want, Wolf? Hmm? Check y'all 